Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the store. We're going to start by creating a static page. I'm going to roll over the pages on the sidebar and click add new. In the title box, I'm entering store. In the content box, you can add some text that would appear over the store. On the right side of the page, under templates, I'm going to select store. I'm going to click publish. The store page has now been created. We're going to add the link to the navigation menu now. I'm going to roll over appearance and click menus. In the pages box, you can see the app store. I'm going to check it. I'm going to click add to menu. I'm going to move the location up of the uh, store link. I'm going to click save menu. The store link has now been added to the navigation menu. Let's start adding products. I'm going to roll over store and click add new product. You need to start by adding a product title. I will be copying text from another website for this example. I'll paste into the title box. I don't want all that, I just want the title. I'm going to add some body text, which will go in this content area. I'm going to paste that in there. Next, I'm going to add a product thumbnail image by clicking the link in the featured image box. I'm going to click upload files, select files, and I'm going to go to store, product one, and select thumb. The image is now uploaded. I'm going to click set featured image. The thumbnail has been added. I'm going to add a price, 15. Shipping price, this is optional. If you're selling a digital product, you, you will not include shipping, um, but I'm going to include a shipping price. I'm gonna say $6.99. You can add multiple images to each product. The product image dimensions are 470 pixels by 400 pixels. I'm gonna click upload file, select files, image one, open. I'm going to click insert into post. That's one image. I'm going to add a second image. Select files to insert into post. And I'm going to add two more images. Okay, I've added four images now. And I'm going to click publish. Okay, so I've added one product. I'm going to add a second product just to show you how it functions. So I'm going to click add new product. So uh, the first example was a t-shirt, but I'm gonna, um, in this example, I'm going to say I'm adding a sample kit that I want to sell on the website. I copy that title. I'm going to copy some body text. I'm going to paste that into here. I'm going to enter in a price. Uh, this is going to be a digital product and I'm going to be linking to an external site so I don't need to add a shipping price. I'm going to upload the main image, select files. I'm going to select insert into post. And I'm going to add a thumbnail image. Upload files, select files. Now, the image is uploaded. I'm going to click set featured image. For this product, uh, I want to link to an external site. Say that you want to sell digital products on another site and you don't want to use the shopping cart on this site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link to this other site and I'm going to paste this into here. So this is optional, but if you want to link to an external site to sell a product, you can do that. I'm going to click publish, and I'm going to go to the home page of the website. I'm going to roll over the site title, click visit site, and then click store. So you can see the two products are now added. We have the store title, and we have the two products. I'm going to go to the first example, which was the t-shirt. I'm going to click into it. title, the description text, the price, the shipping text, a buy link, and you see that this is now a carousel. 
and you click the arrow to switch between the multiple images. I'm going to go back to the store homepage by clicking back and I'm going to click into the sample kit. So this one you see the text, you see the headline, price, no shipping price. This one only has one image so there's no carousel animation and when I click the buy now link, it links to the external site. So um, you can keep products, you can have internal products, you can have external products, it's up to you, you have the option. And the store is now set up.